Oh my gosh, it's been a decade and a half since I freaking made a video for you guys. What is going on, Cameron here? Today we're going to be talking about Windows 10 versus Windows 11 gaming in Fortnite. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like. A uh, very interesting video because Windows 11 is brand new. The operating system literally just released this month. And so a lot of people have the question, does it give you better performance or does it actually make your performance worse? So... Uh, very good question to have. There's actually been a bunch of uh, tests already, benchmark tests of people running the exact same system on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So we're going to look at that analytical information. We're also going to check a couple articles because that's interesting to me. We're also just going to take a look at what the best settings are in Fortnite currently because who doesn't love an updated video on that? And, you know, I feel like those videos are just good to cover every now and then. Um, to be honest, the settings haven't really changed much since like three seasons ago but you know we'll cover it all anyways hope you guys are excited about halloween i know i am i love these halloween skins i think that they look super sick so first i just want to cover this article from nme they basically mentioned that windows 11 will be the best windows ever for gaming so microsoft's whole thing with windows 11 is they want to make the games look better and that's what they're going to do thanks to their auto hdr capability this will basically give a lot more perspective, high dynamic range, and enhance uh, the quality of image while you're playing video games. So if you're looking for better quality, Windows 11 is hands down gonna be a better upgrade for you as your game will look better than ever. So if you like 4K and you like high, um, high graphics and stuff like that, this isn't necessarily performance though. Performance is different than quality. Quality just means it, the game will look better. So. If you like your game looking better, hey, you know, go with the upgrade. You know, don't even watch the rest of this video. Just upgrade your machine to Windows 11. Um, it also will have a capability called Direct Storage. What Direct Storage does is it'll basically allow you to get all of your uh, games on a Direct Storage, which will load the games much quicker and doesn't bog down your CPU or graphics card. It optimizes it and just makes it a little bit more hardware friendly when loading up things like your games in your library so fortnite will load quicker if that uh if that interests you as well and if we go to microsoft's page about this on xbox wire you'll see that uh windows 11 is going to be the best windows ever for gaming and they do go over all that information here as well they talk about nvme ssd compatibility for gaming and making it a very quick and fast process for loading up games that's all stuff we've heard and just more expanded on by microsoft themselves and I'm going to go over all the benchmarks here in a second with Fortnite versus Windows 10 and versus Windows 11. But before that, there is a couple disparaging articles saying it's not so good despite the auto HDR and direct storage capabilities. So here's kind of a negative article I found. This is from Tom's Hardware. So this is just suggesting that people with the built-in operating system of Windows 11 are expecting 28% of their gaming performance to be reduced due to the upgrade of Windows 11. Now, this is worth mentioning because Windows 11 actually uses the same framework as Windows 10, except for the security features that are included if you get a pre-built machine with Windows 11. Now, this isn't really a problem if you guys are considering upgrading, as it doesn't install the new security nodes and all that information on your PC as long as it's just an upgrade. But if it's a pre-built machine with Windows 11, it is noted that you could be receiving only 28% less of your performance just due to the pre-built operating system itself. Also, one of the more updated things is that on October the 9th, there's an update that AMD processors, which is what I have as well, are receiving 15% less performance in some games. Now, is that Fortnite? We're not really sure. It looks like it might be affecting some of the more newer AAA titles, but it's still, you know... Uh, dissatisfying seeing that you could be losing 15% by upgrading your operating system. So yeah guys now I'm going to show you guys the performance in Fortnite Windows 10 versus Windows 11. All right so now we're taking a look at the benchmarks with Windows 10 versus Windows 11. This was actually tested by Yes Tech City. They're a, a different Fortnite uh, well a tech channel that kind of compared both of them. They use the same hardware in both systems. They just changed the operating system of Windows 10 versus Windows 11. And the results are actually very surprising. Um, they did run this on DX12. Uh, and you can see here, there's way higher FPS. I wouldn't say way higher, but there's about a 5% higher FPS on Windows 11. And this is at max quality of 1080p 
um, but on DX12. And as you can see, the 1% lows are also 13 frames higher, which is a huge amount higher. So yeah, I just found that very interesting because the quality of performance was actually way better on uh, Windows 11. So for that reason alone, I think it might be worth trying out Windows 11 to get maybe a, a better performance boost that way. Uh, but now we're just going to talk about the settings and what settings I'm using currently. So I've been rocking DX12 and DX11. DX11, I've had better performance. Um, I, you've probably seen settings like this pretty frequently, but I have everything off. Motion blur, V-Sync, definitely off. And then everything else on low, except for view, st view distance, I have that on Epic. And 100% uh, 3D resolution. And this does well for me. Like these settings here, I get about 300 frames per second on my GTX 1070, which is a, you know, it's like a middle build graphics card. It's not that low, but not high. Um, so if you have something similar to mine or even a, a better graphics card, I'd recommend these these settings because they actually do help a lot. And my frames per second has been very consistent at 240 and higher FPS. Uh, aside from that, that's really the main thing, guys. Um, everything else doesn't really affect your your uh, performance per se. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that a bit. I hope that at least gives you guys some good insight on Windows 11 if you're thinking of upgrading to that because um, it looks like it is actually um, more uh, beneficial if you're on Intel graphics cards. In some games, you may, re um, you may see a drop in performance if you're on AMD processors. So keep that in mind. If you guys want to see a tutorial for installing Windows 10, or I'm sorry, Windows 11, I'll have it commented on this video. You can go check that out. I don't have any installation tutorial for that as of yet. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Happy gaming to all of you, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.